This is a uh, response to the white woman in Starbucks who told me that there was no way I could be African because I don't look African. I'm sorry, I don't comprehend what you. Oh, I get it now. You want me to rip off my clothes, grab a stick, and start dancing in the hills. Surround myself with flashy colors and rhythmic dancing. And, if I'm feeling extra African, wrap a headband around my head and bells on my ankle while pirating around for your entertainment. Or maybe I should replace my music with something a bit more tribal. Music of endless drumming and ever-going chants that tell the narrative of my great ancestors who's battled for freedom in their own home. Replace my nae with tribal dance and substitute my plain t-shirts with tribal clothes because that will make me African, right? Being in a tribe? Perhaps I should shift the weight off my body and give weight to the skeleton within me in hopes that you'll feature me in an app proclaiming that I can be nourished for only 35 cents a day. <laughs> give the rest of America a chance to give me hope to one day be held in the arms of an angel. <laughs> because that would make me African, right? To be as feeble as the hope within me that I'll one day be more than just an unwritten history book? Perhaps I should just rest out my, English, my decorous English grammar. Stop articulating my words and start speaking in a foreign language. A language that sounds a bit peculiar and incoherent to you, yet feels so invigorating. A language that will propel you to ask me to say something, then proceed to zealously call all, all of your friends and tell them about your new African friend who totally speaks African. Or maybe I should scrub off any traces of spoken language I am capable of and be left with only the clicks of my tongue to communicate with. Because that will make me African, right? Lacking so much privilege that even the existence of my speech is placed into question? Or I could always bask in the solar splendor of the sun and bake my face into the darkness it's always trying to escape. Be as dark as the shadow and as light as the night. Formulate a pigment that disappears into the dark with no trace of actually being there at all. Cut me out from the void with a name such as Nakatumbu or Simba. And who cares that I might possibly die as a result of transforming myself into a walking melanoma? I'll just be one less person with AIDS to you, right? One less person with Ebola, one less person who practices some weird voodoo. One less person taking up space in a country that we're reluctantly so, oops, I mean, invited to. So let's set up oh, the of my mother, and that of my parents, and that of my grandparents, and all those before me. Let's ignore my native tongue that rests in my mouth as heavy as the African burden. In fact, let's set aside my whole identity. And tell me, since you happen to be so educated in Africanism, what would make me African? Yeah!